What's up everybody welcome to another honest review video today I have this ProtoArc foldable full size wireless keyboard this is a wireless keyboard this is a full sized keyboard with 105 keys and this one is a foldable keyboard which I use with my Galaxy Z Fold 4 yeah not only with my Galaxy Z Fold 4 I also use this keyboard with my iPad Pro M1 you can see that I have a magic keyboard for my iPad Pro M1. This keyboard costs around 399 US dollars where I live in China. And yeah, it's a bit expensive over here. And still, I use a 59.99 US dollars foldable keyboard with my iPad because this keyboard offers more efficiency, helps to get better productivity, less fatigue, and I can carry this keyboard with me anywhere I go. Well, I have already mentioned this one costs 59.99 US dollars. This one comes with 105 keys. This keyboard can be connected to three different devices at the same time through Bluetooth connectivity. And yeah, switching between devices is so flawless, so smooth. Well, I not only use this with my iPad or my Galaxy Z Fold 4, I also this one with my Surface Book Pro. Yeah, sometimes I use this one with my Surface Book Pro because Surface Book Pro comes with a touch screen, but the keyboard of Surface Book Pro is not as good as it should be. So I have decided to use this Pro to work after I have checked eight or 10 different keyboards, at least three different other foldable keyboards that I have tried, which have failed. But now I'm super satisfied with this Pro to work XK01 foldable keyboard well let's do the unboxing let's check what things we have got inside the box and then we will go through the review process we will talk about specifications and how does it feel how good is it as i have been using this keyboard so yeah i have placed back everything inside to give you an unboxing experience but yeah i have been using this one so i have already unboxed it earlier after opening the top lid, there goes our keyboard. Yeah, XK01. Let's put this aside. ProtoArc has provided a very good user manual. They have described everything in detail. There are a lot of illustrations. So yeah, it's pretty easy to understand. Inside this user manual, they have also printed the specifications. Battery capacity, 210 mAh. Standby time, at least or more than 150 days. Charging time, less than 2 hours. Well, battery capacity, 210 mAh is well okay for me because this one actually goes beyond 6 months and charging time they have written less than two hours. I have managed to get this one fully charged within 100 minutes. And yeah, this one is a very lightweight keyboard. This one weighs 297 grams. As usual, ProtoArc has also provided a USB-A to USB-C charging cable, a very good quality charging cable. This one is a one meter long charging cable, so yeah, distance shouldn't matter. Here is our ProtoArc XK01. This one is built based on an aluminium frame and manufactured with premium quality materials. Like at the back, the rear panel, this one is premium polycarbonate. The buttons are premium polycarbonate and look at this, it's very easy to unfold and it's even easier to fold it back very lightweight okay at the bottom there are four rubber fits these are silicones a very good quality silicones and there are two hinges one on the right side one on the left side this is actually a three-piece keyboard these two parts are connected through that hinge and this hinge is really super premium quality heavy duty hinge it's very easy to open after you open it on any flat surface it will stay steadily because there are four rubber fits as I have mentioned earlier, we can connect this keyboard with three different devices at the same time. There are three different Bluetooth keys. And yeah, definitely we can use this one with any Windows laptops or Windows devices and with any macOS or iOS devices, even with iPad OS devices. Okay, as I've been using this one with my Galaxy Z Fold 4, I have connected this to my Galaxy Z Fold 4. So only to show you, I have unpaired this keyboard from my iPad Pro M1. Let me show you how easy this one is to pair with iPad Pro M1. Just click on ProtoArc XK01 and then click on pair. It's connected. Now let me try to write something for you guys.
Okay, you can see I have written this so quickly. Like, thanks for watching. I'm really very satisfied with this ProtoArc keyboard. This one has clicky feelings. All the keys have bit of a travel and it feels so nice like a mechanical keyboard. Actually, the keys are scissor keys and makes typing pretty enjoyable. And as we can use all these function buttons and multimedia buttons, even with iPad OS, I really like this. Yeah, all the function buttons are working perfectly okay and the feelings of typing on this keyboard is really really super premium as this one is a full sized 105 keys keyboard so I don't miss anything. I have the number keys, I have all the function keys so everything is there and when I don't want to use this one I can just there is no on off button because this one automatically goes to sleep and once I want to use this one again what I have to do is to just unfold it and press a key. Yeah, it's good to go. You can just hide while I work. I tired you first. I'll write a second, third verse. Yeah, today I have this Xiaomi 12S Ultra and 14 Pro Max. Okay, I have done a separate. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another honest review video. Today I have this professional natural spec from this lamp from Yes Lamp. This is Yes Lamp Evo. Well, on this whole keyboard, there is only one port and there is no button. There is only one USB-C port which is required to recharge this keyboard. Other than that, there isn't no other ports and no other on-off buttons. I really like the hinge because look at this. This hinge actually works very fine and there is a premium lock. It magnetically gets locked when it's open, I mean unfolded and once folded, this one also get logged with premium quality strong magnet. No, it's not gonna open. And I really wanna talk about the build quality. They have used metal, stainless steel, aircraft grade aluminium, superb top of the line polycarbonate and altogether all the cutouts, all the design, everything is done with precision. So carrying this one really isn't an issue and typing on this one is actually enjoyable. Okay, let me show you how much sound does it generate while typing on this keyboard because as this is a foldable keyboard, I sometimes take it outside along with me. Sometimes I use this one in a coffee shop. If this would generate loud sound or noise, then I couldn't be able to use this one in a coffee shop or in a library or in an office space. I'm gonna let you listen to the sound by yourself. Well, that's all about this ProtoArc XK01. This is the best foldable keyboard that I have ever used. And after using this one for almost a month now, I'm super satisfied. Actually, one of my friends who has used this one for a longer period of time has recommended me. At the beginning, I was a bit skeptical. I didn't even believe when he said that this one can go through three or four drops from one meter height. I was like, uh, you are joking or lying, but when I have started to use this one, the very first day, accidentally I have dropped it from almost a meter height. Yeah, I was just bringing it out from my bag and tried to put it on a top counter and yeah, I have just misplaced it and this one got dropped. But there is no scratch, no damage and this one is working perfectly fine. Well. Considering the price of 59.99 US dollars, this one gets 8 out of 10 for value for money. Productivity, 10 out of 10. Comfortability, 10 out of 10. Build quality, 10 out of 10. And altogether, I would give this one 10 out of 10. Because, yeah, within this price segment, actually, there isn't no other foldable keyboards which comes with this type of premium quality. I have left a link of this product in the description box below. If you're interested, go ahead, check that. If you have liked this video, then please don't forget to click on the like button. Yeah, please please kindly click on the like button and subscribe to this channel support honest content worth i desire your worst so you can just hide while i work i am tired you first i write a second third verse about the lies you go disperse you never did i know it hurts but something deep inside won't let me quit i swear that i'm